So a few days ago, Rockstar announced that GTA Online would be getting yet another DLC this summer late in July. But what many people don't actually know is that near the bottom of that same newswire, after all the stuff about GTA Online, there is a few paragraphs about the future of Red Dead Online and what Rockstar are planning to do with it. And let's just say it's not looking good at all for the Red Dead community, unfortunately. So without further ado, let's begin this video, and I'm gonna begin this video with reading a few of the things from this nudes wire. So let's just read through this first paragraph here. Over the past few years, we have been steadily moving more development resources towards the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series. Understanding more than ever the need to exceed players' expectations and for this next entry to be the best it can possibly be, and as a result, we are in the process of making some changes to how we support Red Dead Online. So from this, we can safely say Rockstar are continuing to pull resources and attention away from Red Dead Online and just Red Dead Redemption in general. Which, if you've been keeping up with the Red Dead Online updates and just everything surrounding it, you will know Rockstar haven't been putting much effort into the game even before this announcement with Red Dead's DLC or last DLC or update being back a whole year ago and that update was definitely not liked by the community. So it seems Rockstar are just totally pulling the plug on this game and will not be focusing on it anymore. And they are doing this to focus on the next GTA title, which we can assume is GTA 6, but I would also say they will be directing even more attention over to GTA Online, as not too long ago it was released on ne well, the next generation consoles, the PS5 and like the Xbox Series X, and they want to make a good first impression to all these next gen players. So pumping out content at least every few months will help Rockstar keep at least a decent ties with the GTA community. So in short, they are just abandoning a game which has so many loyal fans and has so much potential. And I'll just be honest here, I'm a GTA fanboy and love everything to do with GTA. So hearing that Rockstar will be focusing on making the next GTA game makes me excited. But I also feel for all the Red Dead players as they have been very patient with Rockstar and they see way less content than GTA. And these players don't even really want much. They just want an update with good, fresh content in it. And I don't think that's much to ask for. But let's continue reading here as Rockstar has more to say about Red Dead Online. So we plan to build upon existing modes and add new telegram missions this year, rather than delivering major themed content updates like in previous years and we will continue to highlight and share the creative efforts of our Red Dead community at every opportunity via the newswire and beyond. So this right here is the hard proof that all the Red Dead players were bracing themselves for. Rockstar here basically have just straight up said that there will be no more major content updates to the game and instead there will be minor tweaks and whatnot throughout the years but this will definitely kill off the game for good i think this i think this is the the peak of red dead online that's way past us and i think it's a downfall from here unfortunately now i do understand that rockstar's main cash cow is gta online and gta 6 will also make them lots of money so putting more effort into these two is understandable but Rockstar are a huge company with thousands of employees and they are also backed by Take-Two Interactive who are a mega corporation with billions of dollars in the bank. So you would think they would be able to keep giving Red Dead updates while still developing both GTA 6 and GTA Online at a good speed at the same time. Now, it just seems the highest level of incredible greed and it's just sad they would just drop a whole community which have supported them and I've been just trying to reach out to Rockstar on numerous occasions just about the future of their game, to ask about the future of their game as it's in jeopardy. Uh, but now I guess it's not, basically the game will die and Rockstar have basically confirmed that. And also what's really shocking about all this is that these paragraphs of text containing this info about Red Dead has been relegated to the bottom of the newswire page. Like, how are you basically announcing that you will no longer be updating one of your most loved games and you couldn't even take the time to make a second newswire story or post 
which at least has this information on prominent display as I didn't actually find out that Red Dead Online wasn't getting updates from this newswire. I actually found out from some random guy on Twitter that actually read for the entire newswire, which I can almost guarantee most people didn't read through the whole article. They just read the first few lines thinking, oh, this is just GTA and then closed it off. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. A little rant with some news in there. A very sad day for the Red Dead community. And I really do hope that Rockstar changes their mind about this, but they won't. I don't think that's just being negative. Um, wishful thinking and that's not really that good but leave your thoughts about this whole situation down in the comment section below and like always guys take care everyone and have a great day